CNN Ventura District Sheriff Office was arrested in news that a 50-year-old man Israeli protests and hit the head during Israeli-Palestinian protests during the protests. Loe al Naji was arrested on Thursday on suspicion of involuntary manslaughter and said that his guarantee would be determined as $1 million. He was arrested in an hour and not yet appear in the prisoner of Ventura District. Paul Kessler, 69. After a head trauma after interaction with a pro filestin protestus during the dual rallies on November 5, Ventura District Sheriff Office. In a previous news bulletin, witnesses Kessler and at least one counter-protesters involved in a physical change. He said, It is not clear what interaction of Kessler and Alnaj before the incident. Despite arrest, we will continue to encourage members of the community who have not yet come to fore, said. In the area where pro-Israeli and pro-Palestine protests are carried out, Anyone who dies on a tool containing video recording equipment is asked to reach or provide evidence to detectives. According to Sheriff Office, Kessler supported Israel demonstrations two of them to protest retaliation of October 7 Hamas attacks United States or more killed cities United States. Details surrounding the environment remain uncertainty according to Sharif Office. The simultaneous protests in which incident took place were kept by two groups, which were defined as, Freedom for Palestine, and, We are Israel or wrong. Ventura District Sheriff James Fryhoff. In a previous news bulletin, Kessler's head trauma before the pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian witnesses are uncertain because of the contradictory accounts. He said, a video shot and shared at scene shows that Kessler lies the sidewalk on his face and ground. This photo taken on November 5 shows that Paul Kessler holds a flag of Israel at the intersection. Fryhoff. An interview with a suspect at the scene. He was a cooperative and the authorities were involved in the discussion with Kessler. According to Fryhoff. Ventura District Sheriff deputies came to the scene when the Kessler was still conscious and sensitive. The Sharif said that Kessler was given medical aid by the Ventura District Fire Department and was taken to the hospital in critical state. Fryhoff reported that Kessler in the office of the hospital sheriff just before 3 o'clock on November 6. Later on that day. Detectives carried out traffic stop on a vehicle directed by the suspect and were detained during execution of search order at home. A autopsy revealed exposed to non-fatal on left side of face of Kessler that he was exposed to injuries behind his head and consistent typical with caused by fall. Findora County gave to journalists. He said he was subjected to consistent internal injuries. Young said the cause of death is determined as a blunt force head trauma and death. 